Hello, my name's Erlene Padgett. I've been teaching watercolors for over 20 years, and I'd like to share with you today uh, brushes that I truly love to use in, for watercolors. They are the black velvet brushes made by Silver Brush Limited, and I've used them in my classes for over 15 years. Uh, as a matter of fact, I brought two brushes with me today. One is my very first brush, 15 years old, and the other is a newer brush, and you can hardly tell the difference after 15 years of use. So certainly this speaks to the longevity of the brush. Uh, they're high quality, they're made of black squirrel and synthetic. And the synthetic gives them a very nice responsiveness, a nice bounce that I think you'll enjoy when you're painting watercolors. The squirrel is very thirsty and holds a lot of paint and water. And the synthetic helps with the pointing and the wonderful responsiveness of the brush. You can paint, paint, you can paint fine lines, heavier lines. It's very responsive and it has a consistent color release that you'll appreciate. Many synthetic brushes release all the paint and water with the first touch and the black velvet releases very consistently time after time. It comes in a variety of shapes and sizes. I use the rounds um, mostly in my painting, but certainly it has a wonderful square wash that is good for covering large areas uh, for those painters who, who uh, need this. And uh, again, very responsive and you'll enjoy using it. Uh, another of my favorite, well, m actually it's my most favorite, is the oval wash. And you'll see that it's wide and yet comes to a point. Well, I paint curvy things when I paint. I paint flowers and um, that's things that I must get around in the background. And so this brush works perfectly for me because I can come right around the petals of my flowers with the point and yet the brush holds so much I can continue right in, get the background in very quickly while getting around all the curves and shapes in my flowers and it's a wonderful brush for my technique. Obviously the brush does other things. It makes wonderful leaves and grasses and you can paint on its edge as well as its wide edge. So uh, it's a very nice brush that I think you'd enjoy trying and in a different shape than perhaps you own. Um, another of my favorite brushes is the dagger. And the dagger, I should have shown you, when these brushes are dry, they're very fluffy and soft and yet when you put paint in them, they come to a marvelous point. And this brush is just fabulous for grasses. I love it for seascapes, landscapes, flowers. It does lines forever. And um, I especially like it for doing tree branches. If you just pull the brush, sit it down, pull in another direction, it makes tree branches so quickly. And it's just one of my favorite brushes. And I'm sure that you'll come up with uh, other ideas other than line work, scroll work, uh, such as I have. I've enjoyed showing you the uh, black velvet today. I think what you're going to like most about them is their bounce, their responsiveness, the snap that you get, the incredible pointing that the brushes have. I can use this as a number two, a number four, right on to a number six, depending on the pressure that I use uh, when I'm painting. Their performance is incredible. 
The longevity is incredible. You'll love the brush for watercolor. Um, we just come out with a new series of Voyage brushes, and it's the same brush with a travel cover. So that would be really great for any of you who are taking this on a little trip or a plein air painting. Thanks for letting me share with you Black Velvet today. I hope you'll try them. I think you'll love them. Thank you.